guys, welcome to my channel. We're doing your um, first two weeks of April 1 to 15, um, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's very interesting, Libra, because as I just put my hands over when I when I did my whole high, I feel like you're trying to protect yourself from something or from someone. It's almost like you're putting some sort of, I don't know, high vibration, you know, well, other people call it, you know, um, I don't know. <laughs> well, <laughs> I hate labels, but you're shielding yourself from something. And I totally felt that energy. Whatever you're doing, you got some protection over there. <laughs> and I hope the kind of protection is not when you're trying to be intimate with that person, but you still do practice protection. And that's what we always practice here. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Libra, I don't know what you're doing, but let's start with your intuitive part first, okay? There's no intro. I forgot to do that with the Virgo. The Virgo should get intro, intro, intro. <laughs> okay. So let's begin with your... Ooh, yeah. You are going through something. Um, you know how the moon has waxing or whatever, you know. I'm not familiar with the terms. Waxing crescent, waxing something. Okay, I hope you're not waxing because I'm here about spirituality. <laughs> and not just about shaving and waxing, but maybe you're waxing. So you're probably doing something in the cycle of the moon. Okay, I'm not sure what you're doing. I'm hearing the name Michael or Michelangelo, Michelle, you know, that kind of vibration over here. Um, and you're saying to someone also, us. I'm not sure if you're familiar with the series, but it comes out in my, in my, in my, in my feed. I'm not, I, don't, I haven't seen the show, uh, but it says this is us. So you probably like that show or you're telling this person this is us. This is the reality of who we are. Okay, so maybe you're telling this person we are soulmate, that this is us. Okay, and I see your double seven. I never really see double seven. Normally it should come in threes, right? So maybe there's a missing link um, to completion with your soulmate over here. I'm seeing here also double eight. So there's a lot of doubles, okay? Um, if it's a dance, it's a double, double, single step, okay? So probably dancing also, and you're doing something about a certain step by step by step by step, and there's always something missing. It's almost like there's something missing number, Libra. So if you're at work and you're, you, know, you do some numbers at work, there's one thing that you need to be particular, and that number is very crucial because it's missing. Okay, so there's like a missing link I'm sensing here. I think I'm seeing here um, work related. For some, I'm seeing here, oh wow, Libra. Either you're connecting with a very high, high form of a guide. Okay. And the only thing I'm seeing here is that they're coming. Not in a creepy way, but you're not familiar with this energy, Libra. You're not familiar with the energy, but this is like a, a level of, a level of different guide. You're talking about, I've never seen this kind of energy. For some who are familiar, then you would know, but you're, I'm, never, I'm not familiar with this energy. But it's good. It's a good energy. Okay? You have nothing to fear. Um, they're going to give you some sort of gift. I'm not sure if you're, if, you know, it's not your birthday, but you're going to get a gift from your guides. Accept it. It comes in a flower form. Okay? So maybe, uh, what do you call it? There's a lot of flowers, the sacred geometry. Okay? But there's a lot of flower. That's what I'm seeing here, Libra. Okay? Alright. Well, that's going to be your intuitive part, Libra. And I'm a little bit mellowed down because I put Xanax in my coffee. It helps, you know? <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. I have to be centered, not high. But I appear to be high right now, right? I'm not sure whose energy I'm vibing. Maybe an air energy? Yeah? Alright. Well, now we are going to proceed with the tarot. Intro, intro, intro. <laughs> okay, so let's see what's going on. Libra, Libra, here we go. Okay, here we go. You have here the Knight of Cups. Okay. There's someone. Can be younger water sign. Person offering to you. Very majestic. Reputable from what I'm sensing here. They stand on like a little bit classy. You know, not one of the bros, you know. <laughs> it can be the bros, but I'm saying it's still, like, they classy. Sophisticated taste, you know. May not show in what they do, in how they appear or how they look, but the way that they make choices, the restaurant that this person picks or you pick, they know how to treat you well. Classy, just like you, Libra. <laughs> 
We like that. We like people with class, right? We don't like mongrels, right? A mixed breed. We want the pure breed, you know? Give us the pure stuff over here. Top shell from what I'm sensing here. And then you have here, all right, seven of wands. Whatever restriction that you guys have that, that was putting you far from each other, that won't be it anymore. You got me. There were blockage, there were circumstances before when you met this person. Um, and now those blockages are gone. I'm not sure if you've seen the movie Free Willy, but when they free Orca, I'm not saying you're Orca, okay? <laughs> but there you go. I'm also seeing here, um, you guys are flying together. There's a certain flight that you guys are going to be going to, or you're just going to, to see them in a flight, but you're going to some, some airplane, definitely, I'm seeing here. Okay, almost going to the south. Okay, wherever you're at, then you're headed south. Okay, not the relationship, just the destination. Okay. This person is dying to see you here. There's a lot of things that went, you know, went along this journey between the two of you. Then you have here a King of Cups. I told you, they're dying to see you. If you have water in your chart, it could be Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Scorpio energy over here. They want to have some drinks with you. Okay. This person loves to drink, also can be. Um, the person, the person from a knight to the king over here, that shows growth, okay, in the good way. <laughs> Read it in that level, okay. <laughs> With the seven of wands over here, remember when there was blockage between the two of you, Libra? After that is set free, okay, they've changed, they've grown, okay. So if it's Jurassic Park the movie, the park is open. <laughs> Right? Because all, all, everything now is on the loose. I'm scared of Jurassic Park though, the movie. Everything is out on the loose, okay? So things might go exciting, things might go crazy, but I'm feeling here, things are about to get loose. Oh my God, please Libra, keep it to yourself. I need some cleansing after this, okay? <laughs> some of you guys are thirsty. I keep removing myself from your energy. Gemini got that too the other day. You have here the ten of so uh, queen of swords. Oh wow, true power here. Game of Thrones. Look at that. Look at that. Why do they say Game of Thrones? I haven't seen the series. Because when this person comes to you and they profess their feelings to you, you're gonna be, you know, we've known the Queen of Swords is very much straightforward. But I'm sensing here because look at this. The sword is on the floor. Finally, the queen doesn't need to be guarded. You're with someone who is safe. You're with someone who you will feel safe. No need for the swords to be up there, you know, ready to swing, you know, if they make a mistake. This person is capable to disarm you, to make you feel vulnerable, open up. Oh, that's why it's gonna be loose, okay? Again, cleanse your energy, Libra, sheesh. Okay, I know that this person, this person is damn good looking. I told you with a classy and they fit the bill. Okay, they really fit the bill. And especially that they can feel and love. That's good. That's good. I'm not sure whatever block between the two of you, but I'm just happy that it's gone. Okay, probably happened the past seven months that there was something going on between the two of you, Libra. Things has been difficult. And then you have here. Ooh, eight of wands. See, I knew I was gonna see that because that's seven of wands, eight of wands. Mm. A distance, right? So there was blockages, and there's now moving. So here's how the story is. Look at that. You guys are, look. You see this person, you can't get enough of them, and then you do this stuff. Mm -hmm. Calm down. Calm down. Okay. You're gonna put this person to exhaustion over here. Eight of wands here is that. There is really growth between the two of you. It's fast, it's moving, it's definitely moving here. And what I like about this is like, finally, you don't feel that you need to protect yourself. Okay, interesting, because the start of your intuition, intuitive reading is that you are protecting yourself. But now you're meeting someone that you don't need to be guarded. 
That's good. All right. So Libras, I'm gonna continue this reading with the four points and together with what they want from you. I wish you guys have a happy um, next two weeks of April. And as I always say in some of my random reads, because I didn't always say this, I hope this message helps you to make you feel better. Maybe not today. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys.